In ancient Greek times, there was an Olympic wrestler named Milo of Croton. He was one of the best in all of the land, and legend has it, every single day he would carry a calf on his shoulders. And as the calf grew, so did Milo. Little did he know what he was practicing was the fundamental pillar of bodybuilding called progressive overload. And that's exactly how I went from looking like this at 15 years old to looking like this just two years later, and how you can do it too. Why this is so effective for especially teenagers is because teenagers are experiencing optimum cellular turnover rate, meaning when your cells die or are destroyed, they repair themselves much faster than any other period in your life. So basically your recovery is at peak levels, so you can train extremely hard and recover super fast. Now I know a lot of you guys who are just starting your fitness or bodybuilding journey are looking online for workouts, workout routines, exercises, you see so much content, all these experts saying do this don't do that this exercise is killing your gains blah 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 and you're so overwhelmed you just don't know what to do but yet if you go into any high school gym you see that the biggest guys in there are doing the simplest exercises the truth is you really don't need to overcomplicate it when you're a teenager your testosterone levels are extremely high so you can do incredibly simple things for great results and this is the perfect routine for you teenagers who want to put on muscle mass so hit that like button so you can easily find this video because you're gonna have to refer to it quite a bit for the next few months. So the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you're a new lifter, you don't wanna push yourself too hard because you don't wanna injure yourself. So you should first start with doing body weight exercises to familiarize yourself with the movements and prepare your tendons and ligaments for the heavy working sets we will be doing later on in this routine. So if you're new to this, the first couple of weeks should just be doing body weight squats, push-ups, pull-ups, and anything like that. And once you've mastered the kiddie pool, it's time to hop in the deep end, baby. And what is the routine you ask? Push, pull, legs. What creates an incredible physique? The main thing is you want that nice V taper going from your shoulders down to your waist. Add in some well-built legs and you got the perfect physique suitable for Mount Olympus. So day one will be your push day. On push day, you're exercising all of the muscles responsible for pushing movements. So your chest, shoulders, and triceps respectively. You're gonna start with the biggest muscle out of the three, your chest, because when you're working that, you're secondarily warming up the other muscles, shoulders and triceps. It's okay to keep it nice and simple at first, so we're gonna be doing the flexion exercises of bench press and incline bench press to hit both your pec minor and major. Then you're gonna do the adduction exercises of flies and cable crossovers. Adduction is when you're compressing your muscles horizontally in front of you. To achieve progressive overload like Milo of Croton, we wanna use moderate to heavy weights with three sets of eight to 12 repetitions of each exercise. After that, your chest should be pretty gassed so we can check that off the list and your shoulders should be pretty warmed up from the chest exercises, so we're gonna hit that next. We're gonna do three exercises that hit the shoulders from different angles to hit the whole shoulder unit. So we're gonna do overhead press, lateral raise, and then reverse flies to hit the rear delts. Same as chest, moderate to heavy weights, three sets of eight to 12 repetitions for each exercise. Now it's fine to finish off this push day, time to hit the littlest muscle, and that is triceps. So you're gonna do the three most popular tricep exercises, skull crushers, tricep extensions, and kickbacks. Nice and slow, squeezing the muscle at the top, and you can go a little bit lighter with triceps because it's a really stubborn muscle, but we're gonna go to failure with every set. So same as before, we wanna aim for eight to 12 repetitions, but do as many as you possibly can. And bam, just like that, push day is done, baby. Day two is your pull day. So you're gonna be hitting back and biceps respectively. Just like push day, you're gonna start with the biggest muscle, so back. You're gonna do three completely different types of movements to confuse the muscle. So you'll start with my favorite, wide grip lat pull downs to hit the latissimus dorsi. Then you'll do rows where you're rowing it up just like as if you're rowing a boat and then pullovers, which is gonna feel weird at first, but I promise you is gonna be so good for your whole interior chain of all your muscles. These three exercises will hit all connecting back muscles, latissimus dorsi, traps, and rhomboid minor and major. Three sets of eight to 15 repetitions, starting with the lower weight, working your way up higher for lower repetitions. At this point, I promise you, your biceps are gonna be super pumped and you're only gonna have to do one or two more exercises to completely exhaust them. So we're gonna do the foundation, the best exercise for biceps of all time. What other than curls? 
So finish off your biceps with three or four sets of dumbbell bicep curls with full supination or turning your wrist outward at the top, squeezing it as hard as you can. And always remember to have full mind muscle connection. Anybody can just go through the movement swinging the weight around, but when you're actively thinking about it, squeezing every little bit of life out of those dumbbells, this is when you make real gains. And finally, that brings us to the day that no one wants to really talk about, but we can't ignore it, leg day. I know, I wish we could just be born with some tree trunk legs, but Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Well, not for me at least. Unfortunately, legs needs its own day because there's an interesting case with legs. Legs are the strongest muscle of your body, so they actually release the most testosterone, endorphins, and growth hormone when they're exercised. So we need to hit them very hard on their own day because not only will it grow our legs, but it'll also increase our whole body mass index. So no need to complicate it. You're gonna do the three pillars of leg day, squats, deadlifts, in lunges. Although each exercise looks vastly different than the other, they all work the three main muscles of the legs, your quads, your hamstrings, and your gluteus maximus, aka your booty, baby. So you're gonna be hitting those legs from every angle, growing your whole body the meanwhile. And after that, you're done with the three main days. This is the perfect routine because it allows adequate rest for each muscle to recover fully. You need at least 36 hours after a workout for optimum cellular turnover rate and protein synthesis to actually recover and make those gains. This routine allows that. But you're not in the clear quite yet. There's one more day incorporated in this routine, and that is day four or active rest day. Active rest means you're resting, but you're not resting. You're doing a cardio of your choice. You can do running, swimming, biking, climbing. Uh, what else is there? Dodgeball, cricket, whatever you want. You gotta get the body moving and exercise your stamina and get your respiratory system and circulatory system getting exercise as well. Because when you do this, it's gonna help you make gains in all other areas and get your body working like a well-oiled machine. I also recommend doing your ab day on the active rest day because some you'll probably just be too tired after your push, pull, and legs day to tack on abs at the end. But you decide what's best for you. So you should keep repeating this routine for at least your first three months of working out. But but don't forget you have to add weight each time because just like Milo, as the calf grows, so do you. As the weights grow, so do you. You will make great gains with this routine, but remember you won't be able to do this forever because your body gets used to what you put it through. So in your first three months of working out, look around at what other people are doing and learn how you two can change up the exercises, change up the workout, the angles, the movements, the hand grips, and confuse your muscles. So get out there, hit the gym, pound the rock, and make some gains, young blood. Till next time. Peace.